Star Trek Discovery Series finale set up an intriguing future for Eve Harlow's Maul. Maul spent most of Discovery Season 5 in search of the progenitor's powerful technology. She and her Breen lover, Lack, Elias Tufexis, proved to be incredibly resourceful and determined in their pursuit of the treasure, evading the USS Discovery multiple times. After Lack's death, Maul becomes even more determined to find the progenitor's technology, believing that it will allow her to resurrect Lack. Maul allies herself with the Breen, gaining their allegiance because of her marriage to Lack, their beloved Scion, and her promise to bring him back. In Star Trek, Discovery series finale, Life, itself, Maul battles Captain Michael Burnham, Senequa Martin Green, for the progenitor's technology, but in the end, she learns that it cannot be used to resurrect Lack. After Maul is injured trying to access the technology, Burnham communicates with one of the progenitors, Samkal Ayame Adalama, but ultimately decides that the power to create life is too much for any one person, or culture, to control. After the dust settles, Maul is treated for her injuries and taken into custody. Commander Nan, Rachel Antrill, however, reveals that Dr. Kovic, David Cronenberg, has mysterious plans for Maul's future. How Maul could appear in Star Trek, Starfleet Academy. What exactly does Dr. Kovic have planned for Maul? Star Trek, Discovery creative team did not know that season 5 would be the show's last season while they were in production. While they likely had plans to bring Maul back for Star Trek, Discovery season 6, that is no longer an option. Still, Maul could make an appearance in Discovery's upcoming spin-off, Star Trek, Starfleet Academy, or another future Star Trek project. In Discovery Season 5's finale, Dr. Kovic tells Captain Burnham that Maul is a capable individual who could prove useful. Kovic then reveals his true identity as Temporal Agent Daniels to Burnham, which makes Maul's potential future even more interesting. If Kovic recruits Maul to be one of his agents, he could presumably give her the ability to travel in time. This opens up the door for her to pop up in nearly any Star Trek project, regardless of where it takes place in the timeline. Even if Maul does remain in the 32nd century, she could serve as Kovic's agent on Starfleet Academy. While not much is known about the series, it will reportedly involve a threat to the Federation, possibly something Maul could help fight against. Although Maul does not seem like the Academy instructor type, she could be brought in to offer lessons on self-defense or even advice on how to catch renegades like herself. Maul was one of Star Trek, Discovery's best villains. Maul joins Captain Lorca and Emperor Giorgio on the list of great Star Trek villains. No other Star Trek, Discovery villain has quite lived up to Jason Isaac's Captain Gabriel Lorca or Michelle Yeoh's Emperor Philippa Giorgio from the show's first season. And while Maul is a completely different kind of villain from either of those two, she brought an exciting and fun energy to Discovery's fifth and final season. Not only is Maul intelligent and resourceful, but she can also hold her own in a fight and easily command a room. Maul single-handedly took control of a Breen faction, using just her knowledge, speaking skills, and manipulation tactics.